to set sail! And away we go! What we've tried to do with Pan is to create an incredibly immersive world so that we really take our audience on a fantastical kaleidoscopic journey. And with 3D, one can enhance that immersive experience. Happy? No! Joe really wanted to use the 3D to make it all the more exciting for kids. So it was all about trying to find those opportunities to use the 3D to help tell the story and to add impact to the film. Wakey, wakey! Rise and shine! I think 3D is successful when it's designed to take you into this fictitious world. And in Joe's thinking and designing and the world he's in, we got to experience it in 3D, not just a green screen. Here you join orphans alike from every corner of the globe. You are hope. 3D requires lots of layering, and so the sets we built were specifically designed to give that visceral and emotional experience. The Pan is our tribe's bravest warrior. And I wanted to create a world where space seemed to be constantly shifting. Do you know how to work a ship? How hard can it be? So I wanted to create a hyper real world. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks! There's so many spectacles where the ship goes up into space and, and sort of soars through the skies, and there's a lot of wonderful things you get to see that you've never seen before. Pan is set in this amazing world, and we can do whatever we like. There's no reality that we have to hold on to. We have them being chased by the never birds or the never crocs. That was so much fun to really enhance with the 3D. Holy putty! The trampoline fight, that's going to be magnificent in 3D. It's going to be awesome. Why would you want to leave a place like this? Neverland, there's never been a better canvas for 3D than that. And whatever age you are, it really connects to the kid within you.